As I walk down this valley, clouds are moving in. Queen's ashy fingernails, grown hair to skin. Okay, so welcome to my back porch. And uh, my friend, uh, my neighbor, uh, wanted to do indoor bicycle training. And she was talking about adding a subscription so she could do it. And I realized I had this kinetic in-ride device uh, that my friend had loaned me so I could loan it to her if only I could get it working with Golden Cheetah. And so I found the sources on the internet for their... Uh, for talking to the device over Bluetooth. And that's the UUIDs and how to create packets and receive data from their packets. Uh, and so I hooked that into Golden Cheetah and now I have my, my bicycle hooked up on this trainer. And uh, I, well, the way I have it rigged up here, I can just get it to slide with my hands. I'm not sure if that's tight enough, um, but otherwise the thing is, it's pretty solid. Uh, it doesn't really move. So I'm gonna show you how to, what goes on when you connect the device. So here's my laptop. And uh, normally I do, I use Golden Cheetah using my tablet, um, but since I've been doing development, I like to use this thing and run the debugger. So here we go. This is Visual Studio F5 to start. And uh, let's see, bring up the output window. See it loading a bunch of DLLs and stuff. And uh, there we go. So here's Golden Cheetah. And what I'm gonna do is go to train mode And under devices at the top, add a device. It's Bluetooth. And don't select anything here, just say next. Here's the virtual power selection, which we ignore. And I call this KK for Kurt Kinetic. And I say finish. Oops, I left a breakpoint turned on. There we go. And now I turn on the trainer. Now the golden cheetah is trying to connect to stuff. And so now get on the bike and wake the device up by pedaling a little bit. And you'll start to see these uh, in-ride messages. In-ride normal calibration success. Um, that's returning the current state of the in-ride device along with its current reported speed. So, so here I'm going to select uh, Umbrail, the Umbrail movie, and the Umbrail TTS file. And I turn it back on. And what are my choices? I think I'm just going to show the, the video here. So hit play. And we have the golden cheetah. And you'll see that it's showing my speed. It's showing my power. It's hard to read there. It's saying 77 watts. 80 watts and now what I'm going to do is run calibration mode on it and what that entails is I hit the calibration button and you can see it's telling me to speed up Twenty, thirty. And it says calibration successful. So what I've done is I sped up to 35 kilometers an hour. It told me to stop pedaling. I stopped and it spun down and the device 
measured itself spinning down and determined the friction between the wheel and the system. And so now it's calibrated. So the interesting thing here is that I have my wheel turning on the trainer at some speed. Um, but what I'm, what I'm actually consuming in Golden Cheetah is the power output. So right now it's reporting 131 watts, 120. Uh, that's going into bike simulation. But there's virtual ride that says there's a minus one and a half percent grade right now. So my speed here is a computed speed given the simulated properties of the bicycle and the wind resistance at altitude and the slope on this course at this point and all those other things. And you can see it's also showing me on a map where I am. So because this is not a smart trainer and it's just reporting power, it's not gonna change the resistance. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna skip ahead to where there's some switchbacks. And you can see now there's a 10% grade here and I'm putting out my 130, 150 watts. And you can see the speed is much lower. I'm really only managing 5.9 kilometers, six kilometers an hour going up these, these steep switchbacks on the Umbrail Pass. So you can see I don't actually have to shift or do anything else on this inride. I just put some watts in and it gives me the progress that it thinks I should have. Pretty cool, pretty nice experience. Okay, bye-bye. As I walk down this valley, clouds are moving in.